and, and what is it like why does why does the group exist and what is it that you do I think that's a good question I, I think we just try to bridge the gap <laughs> I think we try to bridge the gap between between sort of corporate IOSH um, and then the local groups that operate in different areas of the UK um, but we've been trying to come up with a uh, a strategy for the next couple of years and the strategy is in two parts really one part we're looking at the smaller end of the consultancy range from micros to just sort of single operating consultants um, and we're going to be running a range of webinars associated with the challenges of that um, and then the then another angle to it would be just running webinars or sessions on on subjects of interest to to consultancies i.e maybe if someone wants to develop a competence in iso systems so not only iso 45001 which really should be should be bread and butter for most health and safety consultants but also bridging out into quality management systems i.e 9001 and then environmental systems as well in, within 14001 um, and we also hope to run, obviously, some legal legal updates, and then just other 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 subjects of of interest to the membership. Um, and we derived all of that actually from a a survey that we did. So we did a membership survey, um, and we got a very good response. So everything we're we're going to deliver really is associated with the sort of the big hits from that survey. Yeah, and I think this is this is you know. It's a it's a great epitome of this this concept of by the members for the members so you know you're a member giving up your time and volunteering and we're talking to the membership to find out um what it is that they want and need and then um marrying those those two things up so very appreciative of the fact that you you give up your time to to chair the group and and to help deliver this stuff so if there's um Irish members out there who either are curious about um perhaps moving into consultancy or are in an existing consultancy or have just set up their own and want to get involved with the group how how do they how do they get hold of you and and, and engage and, and come to these sessions that sound great well i think one one thing the the one thing a member could do for starters is just to search iosh consultancy group on the web and you'll get to our page um you can send an email to iosh so you can send an email to networks at iosh.com okay uh, and express whatever interest it may be uh whether you want to be involved in some of the projects that we're doing because you, you, you know you, you don't actually have to be on the committee to be involved you could say you know i'd like to give up a few hours of my time to be involved in something what are you actually doing and we can share that with you um so, so yeah, you can be involved kind of informally on projects uh, and then bring into meetings or you could be involved within the committee. So, you know, what I, what I would say to anyone out there is if you want to be involved, get in touch through through networks at iOS.com and express your interest. Awesome. Well, look, thank you very much for giving us an overview of the sector group. Um, I think if there's any of our members out there that are um, curious or interested in in supporting and then heard the ways to get in touch and um yeah from me to you thank you very much for all of the hard work that you're putting into the volunteer role and, and the benefit that that's bringing to the membership it's greatly appreciated